Good afternoon, family, friends, Gary, Jumbo, Dinger. I, I, in the tradition of my Captain South Captain America videos, I got a email from one of the Gator girls. She said to me, now it's from Nicole with an H. She lives in Canada. She said, hey, Captain South Captain South Captain America, you did tell me in the alligator video you did that someday you would do a video about the Ottawa River. Well, I live on the Ottawa River. What can you tell me about it in your vast pool of knowledge and experience? Well, Nicole, with an H, I'll be more than happy to tell you. Before I tell you, I'm going to tell everyone else, Nicole with an H is one of them their gator girls. Got to watch them. Don't piss them off. They'll bite you. By trying your ass, take a big chunk of meat with them. I know. I don't want to piss one off because I'm married to one of them. I'm married to Asha. Tall drink of water that she is. Mm -mm, Gary. But I don't want to piss her off because then she'd bite me and then that would hurt. Anyhow, so the Ottawa River. I've spent lots of time on that there Ottawa River. The Ottawa River starts in Lac de Atois in the Laurentinian Mountains of Quebec. Yes, sir. -y. Them Frenchmen's boy, you got to watch them every move they make. Ooh, son, them Frenchmen's is they like marsupials. They're real fast. You never know what they're doing. Anyhow, it blows down from the Laurentinian Mountains, picks up speed around. Well, what's that called? The Baroque Dam. The Baroque Dam is where the first dam on the Ottawa River is. That's where they make electric power. Yeah. Now, them little fellas in the First Nation the engines up in Canada, that's their power dam. Don't mess with them. There's caribou's there. You want to go there, you got to pay them. And then they'll take your caribou on or fishing or whatever it is you want to go there for. Anyhow, starting at Rapid 7, lock this cell. Well, well, it's where I start my adventures on the Ottawa River. And I fished a lot of sails. I fished her all the way down through Ronda Ronda, down into Lake Remini, which is my favorite lake in the whole wide world. I caught lots of fish there when I was a little wee one. My daddy had a cabin there. And I fished her as an adult, too. My buddy had a lodge right at, right at Rapid 15. Rapid 15 is an important rapid on the Ottawa River because it was a logging rapid and it creates Le Reservoir de Lac de Canes. I'll get with these Frenchmen, but they ain't Quebec. They got to talk their language. I get that. Lac de Canes also has a power generating facility. Lac de Canes is a big lock, big, big. I mean, it's got like fingers in it. You get lost on there, son. You and you in the world are hurt. You're going to need a gator to get you out. Anyhow, then it flows down into uh, several other lakes. It flows into uh, Lac Lagarde. It flows into Lac Pin, Pin Blue. I think that's how you say it. I, I was on there one time. I didn't like it there. Was fishing was not as good. But it's all little towns along there. I've been to Moffat, Anglier, obviously. Remini, Rowlett. Then I started fishing the lower part of it, where it goes in and out of Quebec. You know, it's kind of like, it's fast. And I fished down around, down around Port Hawkesbury, La Regional. I fish out all, all the way to the Carillion Power Dam. You can't go any further, Dinger. You can't take your boat further than Carillion Power Dam. That's kind of the end of the river. There's a little bit of river left, but that's actually considered to be the geographical discharge pond of the river. And then it goes into the St. Lawrence. Anyhow, lots of beautiful fish in them, in them lakes and bays and, and offshoots of the Ottawa River. They got pike and walleye. Musky, perch, smallmouth bass, sturgeon, them certain get me. Lots of nice animals too. There's moose, which is one of my favorite animals. I never did shoot me one, but I've seen plenty of them on my travels. Black bear, wolves, 
Wolverine. It's one of my favorite little animals, little kitty cat called a lynx. Mm hmm. They're like, ah, they get you. But they don't bother you sitting in the tree and stare at you for two hours while you're fishing and they don't say nothing. And lots of beavers. Beavers are everywhere. Which is what they was doing. Back in the Hudson Bay Company, they go up north in the bush and they trap all these here beavers and lynx and bears and whatever they could and they shipped them all down the Ottawa River by canoe till they got to where the river ended. Then they offloaded everything in Montreal and then it got shipped down the St. Lawrence River to wherever it was going, whether it was in the U.S. Most of it went to Europe. The Hudson Bay Company was a British company at the time. Now it's a Canadian company. They took it away from their mother England. The Ottawa River was very important to the beginnings of Canada. And it's still important for generating hydroelectric power and providing sporting Areas for people like us who like to fish and hunt and camp out. Yes, yeah, sir. I get all excited when I talk about fishing and hunting and camping, boy. Y'all be safe. It's almost time to go spring turkey hunting. It's almost time to start fishing. I'm not letting this Rona keep me in the house. I'm going to go shoot me a turkey. I'm going to catch me some walleye. Lake Erie got the best walleye fishing in the world. I'm going to do my next video about Lake Erie walleye fishing. I got a Facebook message about that this morning. Y'all be safe. Y'all take care. You need me. You know where I'm at. Cap of South, Cap of America. Out.